autoimmune conditions, you know, people can live with them for years and not know they have them. They're, they're hard to diagnose because oftentimes people have like a bunch of little systems and different mm. systems of their body. And they're only reporting certain things to certain doctors. So it's very fragmented and you kind of have to have like a big picture look there. So it's, you know, it's an uh, immune response to certain things. There's a lot of inflammation involved with autoimmune. Like you could do a whole podcast just on autoimmune disorders, but to give some (laughs) examples. So people kind of like, know, like when I'm talking like autoimmune, like lupus, um rheumatoid arthritis those are like really common autoimmune disorders but like diabetes especially type 1 diabetes that's an Mm. autoimmune disorder um like Hashimoto's for your thyroid that's an autoimmune disorder with that it's like your body starts attacking like its own thyroid tissues like in the simplest terms it's like attacking its own thyroid your immune system is confused it doesn't understand and it's like attacking itself or its own tissues so like this is what happens with endometriosis, right? Is like your your system gets so flared up that you try to put an embryo in there and your body can't even recognize that mm-hmm. that is embryo tissue, not endometriosis tissue. So it attacks, you know, and it's like your body's attacking your own tissues and then you're making this, the, this scarring and these adhesions inside your body. Wow. So with that, your body gets really flared up and it's usually in some kind of like attack mode, which makes, which makes it really hard. Um, to get pregnant, particularly when you're in a flare-up. Mm. 